my face is glowing. Let's play into makeup now. I've already tried this Anastasia Beverly Hills skin tint stick, right? Is that what it's called? You know what it is. You've seen it, okay? That's why it looks like this because I guess it's just really soft. It's a really soft product and it looks like poop. <laughs> Okay, now I love the component because it reminds me of the Shiseido Clear Stick SPF. I love that product because it's so easy to just rub on your face and keep it pushing, okay? Really, really love the idea. And when I saw this, I was like, I have to get this. Now this is the shade 15 and I know that there are, I think one or two shades after this. I wanna get the second one because this one matches my skin so well in the most beautiful way. But I do feel like I need to go up a notch, especially because we're about to go into summertime. Now I'm confused conflicted though, because this is a natural finish type product. And in the summertime, we all know that the girls, if you're like me, like to be matte. So I don't know because I like the product a lot. I don't know if I should go darker. What do you think? Comment and let me know. Now, if you're not following me on all socials, make sure you are because I did debut that there first, but I just have to wear it again in a video for you if you're not already following me on the short form socials because this is just so good. I'm so shocked by it because I almost did not get it because I was like, what? Light coverage? I hate light coverage. But when you build this up, like, okay, you see a light application here right now, right? But it really can be built up, at least on my skin. Now, you'd have to try this for yourself if you want to, or if you're just here for entertainment and a little bit of information, that's okay too. I like this product. Now, I do have blemishes right here because of breakouts, post-acne, hyperpigmentation. It's the dark spots that happen after the acne breakout. And those have been causing me issues with certain foundations because it's dark. So right now, I did two layers and it covered nicely. That's why to me, this is not like coverage. And even look at my brows. I mean, I feel like like I could apply some more here to cover that up. It just depends, okay? Anyway, for me, in my opinion, this is a medium coverage product. I like it a lot. If you want that natural finish, light to medium, in my opinion, more medium coverage product, and you have dry skin, or you might have combination skin, which is a mix of both, dry and more shiny or oily, but you prefer to be matte. So it really is about the, your preference. How do you want your face to look? Yeah, my face is glowing. It looks like I put a bronzer of some sort on my skin. Wow, I just can't get over it. I like a lot. Look, I'm just gonna put a little bit more on my brows and see if it'll stay there. I wanna know if it'll stay. Oh my gosh. It looks like I put a bronzer on my face. This is the only ABH product that I have. Back in the day, ABH was the girl. You feel me? And I know for me and my kit, it just fell off for me. But this is just phenomenal in my opinion, okay? Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, this is skin. Wow. The skin just speaks for itself. I'm just, I'm just done. I'm done with the whole thing. I love it. All right, let's take, I know this is a little redundant, but I like this a lot. We're doing Sephora Best Skin Ever Glow Concealer. This is the shade 54. <laughs> it's on the olive side, yo. I laugh because I don't buy shades like this, but I blind bought it online because I needed to go lighter. And I just love how this also makes the face glow. I'm enjoying this whole glow idea right now. This is my damp beauty sponge. It's more cold right now. It's not wet, really. It's more on the cold side. So that's how your sponge should be. It should feel more cold. When you squeeze it, your hands should not be wet, okay? So you should use a paper towel or a towel to squeeze out the excess oil. I like this a lot. See now, okay, you are now seeing the blemishes that I have right here, which is always a problem for me. I mean, this, these blemishes are not always here, but what I'm saying is the sight of any blemishes is always an issue for me. I want it to all be concealed. I want it to all be gone. That's why I prefer a full coverage foundation, but I've been dealing with it as of late. It's not that tragic, okay? I'm applying more concealer because I want this to be lighter. Now I'm trying to see, maybe I need to, oh no, this is looking good. My under eye is glowing, yo. Oh, like I was saying before, I am enjoying the glowy face because once summer hits, I mean, that's very soon because I'm in Houston Hill. It's already been 70s and 80s every day. Once it just gets, just gets cranked up, I'm putting away all of these natural finish, glowy, dewy, I'm putting away all this. I may counteract my matte foundation with a glowy concealer because I just love how this looks. I love my under eye to be glowy. God, my skin looks so good. But the face will need to be matte in the summertime. Do you hear me? I'm not even taking any chances with anything that is natural. It's just not gonna happen. So comment and let me know if you change out your foundations with the seasons, cause that's important, honey. That is muy importante. Adios, yeah. Three different languages, honey, okay? <laughs> We're gonna blend, blend, blend. Do you see this? It just looks so juicy. If you like your under eye to be glowy, 
and or you have dry under eyes, then you're gonna want this product. You're gonna want it for sure. When I contour, it should really balance this out. I don't need to change a concealer. I could, I don't need to. I need to shave, because when I go over here is when I be seeing all kind of stuff, and I be thinking that it's dead skin, but it really is the hair. So when I go this way, it's lifting it on the in the opposite direction, making it look like I got just a lot of stuff, a lot of texture going on. It's the hair, it's time to shave, okay. All right, let's do our Old Faithful LYS stick bronzer they bedazzled this for me over the holiday which is so cute and we're gonna put a few triangles right there and go on the hairline I already filled in my hairline with color wow I'll link that in all the products below and if you're not already following me on all socials make sure you're doing that as well and I want you to sign up for my mailing list I've got a mailing list now to organize things a lot better and that's where I'll be staying in touch and then also it'll be one of the places where I pick winners for giveaways okay so that link is in my description box all right, now we're gonna blend. This brush is from Yensa Beauty, but this brush literally looks just like a Real Techniques brush that I've used in the past. And we're pouncing this into the hairline right here above where the ear is to get that contour, okay? And we're gonna blend out the lines of demarcation, so don't worry about that. If you still don't know how to highlight a contour in 2024, first of all, don't feel bad, I'm just being sarcastic. Comment and let me know, and I'll think of a way that I can help break it down for you, perhaps in a special video just for that. Because I know I've done that. I've done that in the years past, but perhaps we need another lesson on it. Comment and let me know, okay? It's important to blend this into the hairline because it needs to look as natural as possible. And because my, my hairline is faint, it it really is important that I fill it in because when I get to this part is when it makes it very obvious that I'm going from dark to light to dark. The density change just looks wild. So I fill in my hairline before I do the makeup so I can really make sure that everything is seamless. Filling in the hairline afterward is just, just too much. I just, I can't stand it. I need to get the full view right now so that I can fix what needs to be fixed, okay? Now taking leftover product from this brush, we're going to contour out the nose. The shape of this brush is what's important. It looks like this, all right? And this is an old brush that I got from BoxyCharm. Is BoxyCharm still around? Come and let me know, cause I don't even know. I know Ipsy is. I don't know about BoxyCharm. Or have they combined? <laughs> what are we doing? And this is an Amazon bodysuit that I like. I have it in different colors. I guess it's a Skims dupes. I don't have a Skims shirt like this, but I hear that they're Skims dupes. This is very soft. I have it in black, brown, and this white. I love it. Now you know your girl's cleaning her brushes while doing her makeup. This is Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. And now this brush is completely clean. I'll link this below. Quick drying and it kills 99% of the bacteria that on your brushes so there's no reason in 2024 why we should be having dirty brushes now i will say that the brushes that i use in the bathroom when i'm getting ready <laughs> two of them were dirty and i cleaned them this morning so i will say that okay and i did use a bar soap and water to clean that so if you have time you don't need your brushes right away or you have several sets get the cheapest bar soap known to man you know why because that's the kind of bar soap that's going to dry your skin out it has I thought the ph is something where it's great for cleaning brushes so i blended the lines of demarcation here keeping this brush handy because it has leftover product on it because we're gonna have to fix that in a bit and I'll show you where and why just even right now I felt like it was just missing some stuff my face is glowing I feel like I need to be on a beach somewhere now here's the thing if I were to leave this this way my concern would be right here where the fine lines are because it's, it's settling in and I don't like that so regardless if you're going to set your whole entire under eye or if you're going to just do where the fine lines are let's do this step now you may want to set the fine lines with a luminous setting powder like the elf one the elf halo which I have right here or you may want to set the immediate fine lines with a matte setting powder there's so many different ones for instance I have the Sephora translucent right here I've got the Huda situation right here I'm gonna just dive into Huda and let's do the cinnamon bun shade because it more closely matches my skin tone I do have peach pie that I was using in a video yesterday which is fine it didn't show on my skin all right we're gonna press into here to make sure that the concealer has not settled into the fine lines. This is key. And then keep your face like this, okay? We ain't got time to be playing games. And then we go and dip right into the product, right here on the back. I should've done this at first. Tap off the excess, okay? And let's get right in here, right where the fine lines are. Doesn't that look different? Isn't there a difference? The under eye area is still glowy. You could still leave your face like this if you are really loving the glow and you wanna, and you already have your eyebrows, you're not gonna do a different eyebrow like I'm about to do right now. And you can leave it and look sun-kissed, glowy, dewy, delicious, great. This is the Sephora 79 brush. Let's take the same powder and we're gonna set the other highlighted areas and then we'll go back to the under eye. So 
right under here. It's not really adding color. It's just mattifying it. Now, I'm not trying to take away all of the shine. You could put a powder, whether it's translucent or even this shade, all over your face, but that's not what I want to do. Because if that was what I wanted to do, then why did I use a natural finish dewy foundation? Why did I use a glowy concealer? You get what I'm saying? You could cancel it out if you wanted to, but why not just get there faster by going with a mattifying product on the foundation in the beginning? You feel me? So there's some nuances to this. You can achieve the result however you prefer, but there will be some differences. You're better off if you wanted a full matte face to just use a matte foundation. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Luminous e.l.f. Halo. That's not how you say it, but you get what I'm saying. All links are below. Okay, so it's set. Do you see a difference? It is set, but it's still glowy, okay? And that is what I wanted. I'm taking some in the cap a little bit, gathering the product, always tapping off the excess. And here we are. Mm, 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 mm. It just looks so good. So it's set, but it's still glowy, okay? I like it this way. You know I like it this way, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I have been doing, which is different from what I'm used to doing, is I do my face powder and then I set the contour because what I find myself having to do is go back over, because I would do the contour now and then the face powder, and then I find myself having to go back and do the contour. So let's do face powder and then contour. This is a Sephora 59 brush. And Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade is 85. Espresso. Now this is isn't as big as I usually prefer, but it's okay because I'm just gonna work in sections. Now this is a light powder, so don't be alarmed thinking, oh, this is gonna take over what we've done. Not really. It's gonna finish it off, make it look really beautiful, but it's not gonna take away from this glow that I have under my cheeks, as you can see. And I'm not going over the contour area because that's not an area of concern. I'm gonna go over my eyebrows and my eyelids because why not? And see how it just messed up my contour? We're gonna fix that. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Cosmetics powder foundation that she has rich 660N and let's reinforce the contour. Now, what I love about recreating this, see my brow just popped up again. Okay, the product really, you know, is more medium in, on my skin. So you can still see my brow. What I love about doing the contour afterward is that I don't have to use two different brushes. I'm going from light to dark. So light meaning the powder that I used is lighter than this right here. If I had done my contour first and then wanted to go in with my face powder, which is lighter than this shade right here, then I would be making my face all over very dark and that's not what I wanna do. So if you're trying to connect dense the amount of brushes you're using, then doing it in this order is better because you can use the same brush that you use for your face powder as your brush for your contour powder. Ooh, <laughs> I just put too much right here. <laughs> so the same brush that I used for the highlight, let's just fix this. What in the world? What in the world? Leftover powder right under my chin. Actually gonna go back to this brush that I already cleaned, making sure that it's dry, yes it is, and take some of the contour powder, taking some excess, cause I don't want it to be too dark, and let's reinforce this nose contour. I want it to be snatched, okay? Uh oh, now my nose contour crooked! Ah! <laughs> Let's take the brush for the, ooh, wait, it's dark now. This brush has my face powder, so I was gonna use that to diffuse this line, but it has the contour color on it, which is dark. So if I use that to go here, I'll make my whole nose dark. You see, you gotta think about these things. So put this right back down. I will use this brush because it has a light product on it. It's not gonna mess things up too much. I'm just trying to blend. Yes, that diffused things, okay? So you see the nose highlight, but it's not as harsh as it just was. That's not using one of mine. <laughs> While we're on the face, let's just continue. We are highlight, okay? My word, we are highlighted, all right? But let's bring back the highlight where I like it to be using the Milk Cosmetics highlighter with my finger. This is the shade Lit. I like to go right in the middle of the nose. Why? We're already highlighted. Highlighted, right? Well, because why not? Hello? Look at that. It's a subtle difference. This glowy face is doing something for me. All right, let's do blush. I know it looks dingy. That's because it's got my product on it, all right? Because I always use a sponge that I've already been using and I pounce in here and I apply it to my face. If I were to clean this off right now, it would give me a lot more pigment. Dang, wait, this is really dirty. <laughs> so I'm just wiping it in a circular motion to wipe off the residue and all that. Here's the thing. Okay, this is the sponge that I already had over here. Let's just blend. This is gonna give me a lot more pigment because it's not full of residue. All right, pounds, pounds, pounds. This is Vanessa Myricks, if I haven't said this already. Vanessa Myricks, yummy skin. And this can be used on anywhere on the face. 
eyes, lips, cheeks. I use it solely on my cheek and I love it. Yes and yes. Now we need to correct a few things. So with the brush that I used for my under eye, let's just go right here at an angle to correct this. And then with the brush that I used for the contour with leftover product, not taking any more right here in this area to make sure that the contour is merging into the blush, okay? Need that to merge, it makes a huge difference. I don't want the blush to take over my whole cheek. That's not the look that I'm going for ever actually. Okay, let's do brows and then let's do eyes. Makeup Revolution sent me this new brow product. The shade is Granite, which I enjoy because that's the same shade that I use in the Sephora collection, brow pencil. So it's dual sided. One side has the brow gel and then the other is the actual, whoa, okay. This looks just like a lawless brow product that I feel like I've used in the past. Okay, it looks like a knife. Ooh, is this gonna be too dark? Let's try, ooh, wow, this is, this is nice and dark, whoa. I I like the angle of this. It looks like a blade. Oh, this is dope. But see, it's not gonna stay that way. As you use it, it will soften. Wow, wait. <laughs> what? I love the angle of this. Do you see that? It looks like knife strokes. Wow, I gotta be careful. Wow. Nah, son, this looks good. Uh, this is a lot darker than the granite from Sephora. Wait a minute, I gotta be careful. Okay, I, when I brush that, it'll blend in. But wow, I love the angle of this. That's dope, okay. Now here's the thing, okay, let me go this way. Let's get this side. Oh, I'm so nervous because this is so dark. I love the shape of this, but it's awkward to do my left brow, which is on your, your right side of the screen, right? Is that what it is? It's just so awkward. I don't like the way that I arched this. We're gonna clean it up clearly when we do the concealer, but it's awkward to do this side. Oh man, mm, I like this, but I don't see myself using it again. If you use this and try it and you find it to work on both brows, let me know. I just, man, and this color is so dark. This is great, it's just not for me. I just, okay, let's use the gel thingy to comb this up. I'm really just trying to blend these lines in a little bit. I'm like, my brows look so fluffy. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of my brows today, but let's clean it up. Maybe when I clean it up, it'll be better. Okay, let's take the same concealer shade to for best skin ever. And we're doing a really simple eye look today. I do have plans to bring you some eye looks because you know I had to get rid of almost all of my eyeshadows when I did the makeup declutter. I have some plans for that, so stay tuned, make sure you are subscribed. Listen, this concealer, although I love it under my eyes, I have to keep remembering that it's not as good under my brows because you can still see my brow. It's not full coverage, I'm so annoyed. But I don't have time right now to fix that. <laughs> I'm so irritated. Um, I'm really about to wash this off though because I have a campaign I need to film which includes washing off my face, so it's all good. But I'm reminded again, some concealers are great under the eye and all over the other areas of the face you wanna highlight, but under the brow, for me, based on how I do my makeup, this one just doesn't work. Because if I kept my microbladed brows and didn't recreate a brow, it'd be fine. But don't forget, I'm gonna do what I wanna do when it comes to my brows and this concealer just doesn't work. All right, we are putting some of this powder under my eyes just to create a light shadow with this powder, which I used on my face. Love this powder because you see it does give a light coverage and it makes the face look so pretty when used all over the face. I've been into these Huda Creamy Eye Cold Sticks. Is that how you say it? Girl, I be saying my own thing, okay? I've been into this because it just glides on so easily. You're not here for 10 years fighting with some eyeliner and I love that it twists up. Wow. Why are you sharpening eyeliner? This is not wet and wild. Just quickly getting this eyeliner on. It doesn't need to look perfect because for me, going on the days where I do a perfect eyeliner look. And then with this Sephora 22 slanted liner brush, I'm going to smudge it a bit, turning it over and then giving a little bit of a wing because I'm picking up some of the product to do that. I'm not trying to make this precise. It's a real faint smudge and wing, okay? getting some of this product and going like this. I just want it to look decent. And you can even smudge under the eye if you see fit. Bobbi Brown has sent over these Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks and this is a shade Opal. And this I think will look so good right here in the inner eye. Look at that. And you can of course put this all over your eye as eyeshadow. Oh, this is a cute pink. Okay, it looks, this is so, see this is how these things be tricking you. It looks like silver white champagne and this is looking like a rose. Ooh, it's cute. Okay. Okay, I can still see it. I wanted to go more silver, but this is cute. You can use your finger to blend this in, but because my nails are so long, I can't do that. So let's take this brush and 
smudge any harsh lines. I have this new to me mascara from Charlotte Tilbury called the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. And this is the shade Super Black. Let's put this on before my lashes, of course. Okay, I mean, this is nice. It's not stupendous. It's just, it's nice. If you've used this and love it, comment and let me know. I'm not over the moon about it, you know? No matter what mascara I use, however, we gotta put lashes on and these are my old faithfuls, always linking all the products down below. And these are D22, all right? Get them on Amazon Prime, honey. Got my cosmetic scissors. Gotta cut off that line on both ends. I don't be liking that. Now under my eyes, I'm gonna use the old faithful Huda Beauty One Coat Mascara. I love this. This one and the Fenty Hella Thick and the Lawless one are so good. Oh, and there's another one, Estee Lauder. I did a video actually, a short form video on my Instagram and TikTok. And if you're not following, link is below and it's the same name, Minadabia. You Make sure you follow me there where I talked about my favorite mascaras and this was on it. It's just so good. We got length and we have volume. I mean, one coat looks so good. Literally, it's called Huda One Coat. And look, I literally used one coat on both of my eyes. So just imagine what this would look like if I were using one coat per eye. All right, and then for the lip, what are we doing today? I got some MAC lipsticks in recently and I had Lady Danger. Where is it? I am really feeling a, a fiery red orange today. Here it is. Oh, this is gonna look so good. This is the About Face Fix Lip Pencil and it's matte and the shade is smoked. I like this. Oh, I was gonna twist it. It doesn't twist, but it is creamy. So this does have to be sharpened. This color is nice. I have not worn Lady Danger in a minute. This is a MAC throwback. If you still buy MAC makeup, please comment and let me know. I freelanced at MAC many, many years ago and I will just never forget. I learned so much. Look, this is a nice brown. It's deep, it's not too light, it's not too dark. It's just right in the middle. I love this. I don't want it to change the way that this looks, okay? But I do want it to offset so that the lipstick doesn't look ridiculous, okay? So here's our old faithful to be respected Lady Danger from MAC. Oh my God. Oh, it just looks so good. I love a fresh lipstick, okay? And let's start off on the bottom lip. Yes. Ooh, already hot like fire. It's a red orange. So, so sexy for the, and for me this is all, I was gonna say for summertime, but this is just all season. This is an all season lipstick. What? And here we are, the finished look. I love it. If you love it as much as I do, give the video a thumbs up, comment below and let me know. Follow me on all socials and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.